Welcome, I'm Rose Oatley, and today I'm going to show you how to make five different accent ribbons that will make your homecoming mom stand out. We'll start with a diamond back chain. You can make these using different size ribbons. The instructions will be the same for all, but the width of the ribbon will determine how long you will need to cut your strips, and we'll discuss that. Today, I'll be using two different colors, burnt orange and glitter white, but you can stick to one color if you prefer. Both ribbons are 5 8 of an inch wide. For a 5 8 inch ribbon, you will need to cut strips 5 and a half inches long, or you can also cut them 6 inches long. Both colors will be the same length. This is what a 5 and a half or 6 inch would look like. Today, just for the heck of it, I cut my strands six and a half inches long to see what would happen, and I came up with this 3D effect. Now, whether you're cutting your strands five and a half inches, six inches, or six and a half inches, just continue following the same instructions. All right, after cutting your strip, we'll start with my orange ribbon, and I'll be folding this in half. I'm squeezing the bottom so it creates a crease. Make sure your ends are cut straight and even. If it is slightly off, go ahead and trim a little piece. Now we wanna take both ends and fold them in so they meet inside the crease. I usually use my two fingers to fold them in and then push them down into the crease. They must sit flush in the crease. Once you get them to sit on the crease, go ahead and squeeze the bottom. I usually turn them around and tap on both sides to make sure both sides are even. Then with both fingers, you wanna squeeze down and crease the top part. It creates kind of like a little heart. All right, now we're gonna be doing the same thing with a white one. Fold it in half and crease the bottom. Trim only if you have to. Fold both sides in so they touch the bottom of the crease. Squeeze the bottom, make sure the sides are even and then squeeze all the way to the top. For an 18 inch chain, you will need 16 orange and 15 white. Now I'm gonna take my orange one, and if you notice, it's got two holes on each side. We are going to take our white ribbon and with these two loops, and those two points are gonna slide right inside those holes. All right, let's go ahead and feed these through here. Just kind of pull on it a little making sure everything's fitting nice and flush and then we're going to staple where the orange and white sit that way we can secure the bottom okay so this is our base and if you can see the staple is down here now we did orange white now we're going to go back with orange and we're going to slide it all the way in and we're going to be creating a zigzag you won't have to staple this one. Now we're gonna take the white one and go across this way. So you'll start noticing that one side of the chain will be white and the other side will be orange. So now we'll go in with orange, again, alternating colors, orange, white, orange, white. So you wanna just keep going until you get the length that you want. Now today I'm gonna be doing an 18 inch long chain. When you get to the last one, you'll staple the end. I'll staple where the white and orange meet, and then I'm gonna put another staple on this end. All right, so again, on this side, I have 16 orange, and on the other side, I have 15 white. Take a quick picture of this chart that I made that will help you determine the length of the strips that you will need. Once you're done with your diamond back chains, you can hang them just like that, or you can decorate them, and I'll give you some ideas. For example, I bought this strand of rhinestones for very little at a place called Travis Wholesale located in San Antonio, Texas. They're actually a florist open to the public, but they also sell other craft supplies. Now you can also pick stuff up at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, any craft store in your area. Now for a chain like this, uh, you could either glue it right in the center or like in my case, I ended up cutting each one individually and I glued them to one side. I also bought this roll of rhinestones at Travis Wholesale. Again, I've seen them in other places as well. This one was $7.95 and it's got quite a bit in here. And you basically cut them to the size that you need. In my case, I ended up cutting little squares like this and I added them to my orange um, chain. 
In the mom section, you'll also find little decorations that say homecoming, you have footballs, cheer, band, a lot of different stuff. So I went ahead and glued that one to the bottom of this diamondback chain and I just added curly ribbon, curled it up, bunched it up and just hot glued it right at the bottom. Next, we're gonna be making a hard chain. You'll need a 7 8 inch wide ribbon, cut 18 inches long or however long you want your chain to be. To make one heart, you need two 7 inch long strips. Today we'll be making four blue hearts and one silver heart. Therefore, I will need eight strips of blue and two strips of silver. The long ribbon will go in the center and will hold our hearts together. We'll start with one blue strip and you wanna fold this in half. Then you'll take a second strip and fold it in half as well. I'll show you two different ways and you can pick whatever is easiest for you. Line up one loop on one side of the ribbon and then the other loop to the other side of the ribbon. This will create a heart for you, just like this. Turn it over on one side and you will need to add one staple on each side of the ribbon. And you have yourself a heart. Now fold another ribbon in half and I'm going to be showing you what I think is probably the easiest way. You want to go ahead and insert the end kind of like towards the inside of the other heart. Once you figure out where you want that to go, you'll add a staple on one side. Now we'll do the other side, fold your strip, then insert it, make sure that it's aligned with the other one and put a staple on the other side. I have added a silver heart in the center and now I'll be adding two blue hearts on top. And here you have a heart chain. Now you can use different color ribbon. You can also layer them so you have two different colors, one on the inside and one on the outside. And you can also decorate these as well. Just like I've done here, you can add a rhinestone to the center of each heart. You can also add curly ribbon and a bell to the bottom of your chain. The next chain will be a down arrow chain. I'll be using two different colors, blue and silver. My blue is one and five sixteenths of an inch wide. My silver is one and one fourth inches. Now, this one is just a little tiny bit bigger than the blue. I would normally use the same size for both, but it's not gonna make much of a difference. If you prefer, you can also use just one color. You'll start by cutting strips two and a half inches long. You'll need seven silver and six blue. Take a strip and fold both sides in so they make a triangle. You can start with one side. Now make sure that it lines up with the bottom perfectly. Then you wanna take your other side and fold it down as well so that everything lines up. Then press down to make a crease. If the bottom isn't straight, you can trim it a little bit to fix. Then we'll glue both sides down with our glue gun. This will make an arrow. Now let's make a silver one. Again, fold each side down to make a triangle, then glue. Then continue to make triangles with the rest of your strips. Once you're done with all your strips, we're going to start gluing them together. I'm adding a little bit of glue only to the bottom of my arrow. And I will place it on top of my other arrow so that it's facing down. I'm going to be aligning it with the point. And if you turn it around at the back, you can also use the line in the back as a guide to make sure you're on there straight. You will glue your next one alternating colors until you get to your last one. This is what it'll look like once you're done gluing all your arrows down. Okay, using the same size blue ribbon we used, you're going to cut... 18 inches long and we are going to attach this ribbon to our arrows you're going to turn your triangles around and add some glue at the very top of your first triangle then you're going to begin to glue down your ribbon go ahead and press down and then you can add a strip of glue all the way to the top of your triangles and finish gluing your ribbon down you can decorate by adding text or the year. You can buy these letters at uh, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, or any craft store. Now we're gonna get started on this different chain. We'll be using one and three eighth inch orange ribbon. My blue one is one and five sixteenth of an inch, but you could use the same size for both. 
I just don't have the same size for both, but they are very close. You will need six blue and six orange three inch long strips. Take an orange strip and fold it in half lengthwise with a shiny part in. Now we're gonna be cutting a diagonal line this way, finishing off with a point at the bottom. And this is what you'll wind up with, with the opening in the center. For the blue one, we're going to be folding the raw side in folding it in half lengthwise. Now we're gonna be cutting, starting from the bottom left, we're gonna be cutting a diagonal line going up. And it'll make an arrow going down. Now finish cutting all those other strips. The blue ones will be cut the way we cut the blue, and the orange ones will be cut the way we cut the orange one. For your base, cut a 7 8 inch by 19 inch long blue ribbon. Now we'll start stapling the ribbons to the base. We'll start with the blue one with the arrow going down, now we'll place our orange one on top. You wanna leave some room where the blue part is so that you can place any letters. I'm leaving about two inches. Make sure it's straight and then staple. Now we'll place a blue one, lining it up with the other blue point and leaving less space in between. Now I'm gonna be placing an orange one, leaving two inches of blue showing so that we can put text again in there. Continue to do the same thing until you get to the top. To decorate, you can add the year or text in the blue spaces and you can add embellishments as well. Here's what I did with mine. Next, we're gonna be making a loop chain. If you have random pieces of ribbon, this is a great time to use them. I have different size ribbons. I cut five and a half inches long. This white one is 9 16 of an inch. This blue one is 7 8 of an inch. This orange one is 5 8 of an inch. These glitter ones are 5 8 of an inch, but again, you don't have to have the same size as I do. You can have your own. So now we're just gonna be creating loops. I'm gonna take this orange one, fold it in half and make a loop. And then I'll go ahead and take a blue one, fold it in half and make a loop. And I'll also fold a white one, make it a loop, and then I'll put them all together. I'm gonna turn it upside down and then I'm gonna staple it to a long orange ribbon. This one's a thin ribbon. I believe it's either 5 8 or 7 8 of an inch wide, but you can use any size you want. And it's 20 inches long. Now I'm gonna take a blue ribbon and a silver ribbon that's a little bit smaller and I'm gonna overlap them and make a loop. Let's make a second blue and silver loop. I'm going to take an orange and white one and staple them with a blue. Now we'll do blue, orange, and white again. Blue, orange, blue, orange, go max. And now we'll go back with a blue and silver set. I'm just going with the flow. You just put loops wherever you want. I'm gonna add another blue set to the bottom because I just feel like I need something on the bottom to even it out. I'm gonna add some curly ribbon to the bottom and a few embellishments throughout. Here's what it looks like finished. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please don't forget to give this a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. If you haven't already subscribed, please be sure to do so below or hit my little picture on the side. Also, don't forget to hit the little bell to get notified of all of my new videos. And please be sure to check out these links on the side. Share with your friends. Thanks for watching and your support.